Have you ever watched like trends on the internet and be like, there's no way I would ever do that. I'm now doing it. Three, two, one. Oh my God. Whoa, look at that. I just effed up this lens and I wanna see what kind of image a shot gives you. But before we dive into this, let's talk about why cinematography is actually about capturing bad images as opposed to clean ones. This is a beautiful shot, but yet it's actually kind of ugly. There's a lot of aspects to it that make it not an HD image. In fact, half of the image is just black bars. The other 70% is blurry. Only 10% of it is truly in focus. If you watch too, it's handheld and gritty, moves around a lot. There's flares that are blasting into the lens, kind of blowing out the shot. And it's even gritty, there's a film grain on top of it. The color grade is contrasty, yet it's really beautiful. And that's because the pursuit of a beautiful image is actually found in chasing imperfections. Before we dive in, we're so close to getting 100,000 subscribers, or maybe we're already there and that'd be great. Celebration. Right now, we're not there yet, so now we have to dial in. I'm just kidding. We don't have to do anything. But if you could help me out, you can subscribe to this channel, talk a lot about filmmaking tutorials, how to do stuff, and now seeking your imperfections as a Creative. There's a great video online which is some of the most beautiful shots in cinematic history and if you scroll through the majority of them, you'll notice that they're riddled with imperfections. A lot of them are not clean images. So the first question is, well then what is a clean image? What is a perfect image? You ever watch a video at your like uncle's house or your dad's watching the football game and it's got like that super clean HD look on it. I think it's called Real D or something, but it almost looks like home video. This is where technology is taking cinema at the current moment. Hi, I'm Tom Cruise. Obviously. <laughs> and I'm Chris McCoy. Well, obviously. And there's a lot of filmmakers who are actually against this. Tom Cruise and the director of the Mission Impossible films do this talk about why we should not pursue this. It's actually really interesting. We'd like a moment of your time to talk to you about video interpolation. Video interpolation, or motion smoothing, is a digital effect on most high-definition televisions and is intended to reduce motion blur in sporting events and other high-definition programming. The unfortunate side effect is that it makes most movies look like they were shot on high-speed video rather than film. Now, this is sometimes referred to as the soap opera effect. And the issue isn't having an HD clean image. We all want a nice sharp shot to look at. It actually lays in the division of reality in cinema. If you look at a beautiful abstract painting, the beauty from that image actually comes from the divide between reality and art. And the closer art actually makes its way to looking like reality, the less interesting sometimes it can be. There's no area for the viewer to get lost in, to gain their own creative vision. That's why when you watch a film that's shot at 30 frames per second versus 24 frames per second, it kind of feels cheap. But what blew my mind when it was released was the latest Batman film, which was almost a counterintuitive approach to what superhero films were going for. Director Matt Reeves and Oscar-winning cinematographer Greg Fraser approached this film with the motivation to ground it more in a reality. So one of the big steps that they took was actually shooting it on shitty lenses. Even the collaborating lens company that they worked with argued that they wouldn't get really good images and ask why they wanted to go with vintage broken lenses for this film. So simultaneously, we see two motives happening in the world of filmmaking. Creating the cleanest, most, most HD image, which is the 4Ks, the 6Ks, the ultimate HD resolution, full screen, and yet you also have a motivation of breaking down the image and making it feel grittier and more raw. Oh my God. First off, this cracked lens thing is really good. I am actually truly blown away by how uh, cool it looks. And what I've done is since it's on my polarizer, I can actually rotate filter around so it can actually adjust wherever the glass is uh, coming in. By changing the f-stop too, it can show whether I want like a lot of shatter in the frame or it just to sort of blur it out. But overall, I think it gives it a really nice creamy look that uh, I'm 100% leaving this just in my toolkit. People are gonna be like, what the F is that in your lens kit? Uh, and this is just like my ultimate 
little like hack. I think we'll probably even use this in some like music videos. It's not something you'd probably wanna use all the time, but I think it's a great example of how uh, breaking down your image can actually give it a unique look. So you're probably done watching a bunch of blown out shots of me, but here's some beautiful shots of Jackie. One final thing about shooting with like cracked glass lenses is shooting towards the sun emphasizes on all the shattered parts in the filter. And then shooting with the sun, you just kind of get a blurry image. So if you really want to maximize that cracked look, shoot into some light and you're going to get all the little refractions. Now I wouldn't recommend you going out to your corporate shoot and filming it with like, oh, don't worry, I'm just gonna put Vaseline on the lens. But you're actually able to make a stunning image from actually breaking down the shot as opposed to trying to make it cleaner. And sometimes the most beauty can be found through imperfection rather than the pursuit of perfection. There you go. You guys can actually use that as a pickup line the next time you're at like some filmmaking event. You're like, yeah, the most beautiful things in life are the things that are imperfect, not perfect. Actually, they might take that as an insult. Maybe don't do that. That said, the pursuit of clean imagery is important. The areas that you wanna focus on having a nice clean shot or maybe that corporate gig you're doing or a wedding video. And sometimes having grain and filter and everything can be too much. So what I recommend is like everything else in life, use it in moderation. Over amplification of a certain style removes its flavor and almost just kind of becomes annoying. Despite the Batman having this gritty look, it still follows by some of cinema's most important rules for shooting things. Not every shot has Vaseline over the lens. Not every shot is completely out of focus. You can still tell what's going on and they follow the rules of storytelling. I actually dive deeper into pursuing imperfections and how it can elevate your creative career in my latest book, The Unoriginal Guide to Originality, a deep dive into seeking out your imperfections to amplify the beauty that you actually have because you're a beautiful person if you guys are, uh, if you guys want to support this channel or have ever been interested in supporting it you can give that a gander and hit a link in the description below to buy that book it would be a super huge help thank you so much that's it thank you guys so much for watching thanks for tuning in uh, if you like these effects or want to see more stuff uh, where I shatter things, <laughs> let me know. I'm probably not gonna do it, but let me know what you'd like to see from this channel. And uh, also if there's anything else you wanna see me do with this Vaseline. That's disgusting. Get your brain out of the gutter. See you guys later. It's so nice to see you back in my channel today. Here today we're gonna be talking about what happens when you shatter a lens. And if you love these things, click the button below. <laughs> Ow.